Hey you, this is Jasim from Codeband and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to send emails in Django through Gmail. So if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon here to it. So without any further, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so this is the uh, repository that I've created uh, in order to demonstrate the whole process. So here in, in the readme you can find uh, how, how to set the things up and I have uh, prepared some code and stuff like that. I'll explain each of them in detail and yeah, that's about it. I'll put the link of this repository in the description section so that you can just follow along with me. And then what I have here is a brand new Django project. Um, there's nothing um, there uh, except this subscriptions applications which I have created. Subscriptions, pythonmanage.py startup subscriptions. And then, yeah, that's about the initial configuration. Now we, uh, we uh, are going to actually start um, to integrate Gmail, okay? So uh, the, the first step in the, in the usage section, you can see the first step is enable two-factor authentication and set up an app password in Gmail so uh, this is the uh, very crucial step and uh, uh, this is required I mean the two-factor authentication should be enabled so that we can uh, create an app password which at the end we can use in our application instead of our uh, normal password okay instead of using our um, a regular password we just create an app password so that a regular password at the end will not be exposed uh, in any means okay that's why we need to do this step so um, in order to um, do this stuff we have to go to my account.google.com I'll put the link again in the description section so that you, so that you can just go there my account.google.com and there in in the security section at the left side uh, you can click on security and then um, uh, at the bottom a little bit bottom you can see something called signing into google here so in here you can see this two-step verification okay so the two-step verification you can just click on that and then it'll show you another procedure so just click on get started and then um, yeah the first thing you have to confirm your password so i'll quickly uh, confirm my password okay so that's done and now um, I, ne I need to just click on the continue button here um, it will just show you the the phones uh, that uh, you have access to your account has access to okay just click on continue and uh, then it'll just give you a prompt on your on your device so um, just unlock your device and tap uh, yes on the prompt so um, I'll, I'll quickly do that and then uh, I'll refresh the page and and there there you know uh, it says almost there added backup option so you can just add your um, mobile number if, if, if you have one uh, and just uh, click on the send here uh, it's not even sending a text message to confirm that it's it's uh, an available number okay so then I'll just send you that code and I just need to um, type in that code here and that's about it uh, it just worked and last step is just clicking on this turn on button so i'll just click on that and what do you know two step verification is turned on now uh, the, the next one is setting up an app password okay so uh, back into here i'll click on this here and then in the security section itself we can see an option called app passwords here so just click on the app passwords and then again we need to confirm the um the password so i'll quickly um run that and come back All right, so it gives me the screen and then we need to select an app and device. So I'll just say uh, an app, uh, I'll use other here and then I'll just say maybe my uh, Django email, uh, email sending app, just like that. Okay, you can pretty much um, name whatever you, you wish to. Okay, so click on generate here and then uh, you, you can see your app password for your device just copy this down just copy this down somewhere so control c i'll i'll, I'll just uh, put that in in our 
um, somewhere maybe I'll put that uh, for instance I'll put it in, in the uh, readme.md okay so I have that code here and then uh, I'll, I'll quickly say done and that's about it we have that um, app password being ready now the uh, next steps here setting up the email configuration so the uh, Gmail um, backend configurations are done now we only need to set up our Django application uh, to send that email okay so set email configurations in the settings.py we just need to add these steps I'll, I'll quickly explain what it is in a moment so I'll copy that and in the uh, settings.py uh, maybe at the bottom I'll quickly add that so it's nothing but email host and uh, host user excuse me this uh, is not a code by the way sorry for that I'll, I'll edit that in the repository itself so mm, I'll quickly make this stuff here so yeah this is saying email host is equal to smtv.gmail.com that's our uh, host for gmail use tls is equal to true record by gmail port is 587 all these things are configurations for the gmail and then email host user this is the from address so this is the mail that we um, we need to send uh, we have just created that app password for this mail so I'll quickly um, type in that mail here and then uh, we, we just need to um, type in the uh, host password email host password now the password is nothing but the app password that we have just created so uh, I have pasted that in the readme I'll quickly cut that from there and then uh, what I'll do is I'll go back to settings and I'll just paste that in there so that's about it now in in a real scenario you might want to set these two things these um, sensitive things in .env or some other files and just refer that here in our n as an environment variable um, that's I'm, I'm not doing that because I'm just showing you the things out um, it's not all about security I mean uh, uh, I'm just gonna be skipping that stuff if you are in a production environment um, you should uh, definitely do that you should set this as an environment variable and just load that here and with that um, we have done the configurations for the Django and then we will just add a quick um, uh, interface so that we can just send a mail okay so I'm assuming that this is a subscription um, page or similar so I'll quickly create a form here in the forms.py so I'll just copy that, that these lines of code from here in the forms.py I will just paste that in here so basically it's just creating a form that has just the email field uh, no model form it's just a regular form I'm not using any models um, in a real case you, you should or you might have to do that but um, just for demonstration I'll leave it as it is and then we need to um, just make um, uh, I mean the view for handling that uh, email sending so basically this is nothing but uh, a form you know you, you don't have to explicitly use the Django forms if you're using manual uh, forms that's totally it's possible um, but I'm just demonstrating things out uh, these steps are not important only this line of code is important here uh, when it comes to the mail sending concept so I'll explain that in a moment so I'll just quickly copy this one and in the views.py I'll just paste that in there and then yeah uh, I'll quickly import the steps here so send mail I'll, I'll, I'll change this one in the uh, repository as well so uh, the send mail it's django.core dot from django.core dot mail import send mail and then the email host user we need to import that from from the settings so uh, from dj mail dot settings I mean uh, or maybe I'll I'll just say dot conf um, I mean from dj email uh, not dj email actually from django dot conf import uh, settings and then I'll just say settings dot email host user just like that and then um, yeah uh, I'll explain what these steps are in a moment I'll quickly refactor and then I'll show you what exactly it is so messages I need to generate contrib dot messages at the top here this one and then redirect as well so I'll quickly make that shortcuts redirect and yeah that's about it and now mm, um, what this is doing is, is uh, initially uh, yeah before I actually explain this one I'll quickly make a route a URL for this one so that we can 
just access this one so in the dj email in the root app in the url shop py i'll quickly add that okay path and i'm not going to include and going into subscriptions module but still what I, i'll do is uh, in the, the home page uh, what i want to render is views dot um, the name of the view that is subscribe uh, i believe yeah, it's subscribe uh, this one and then i'll provide a name is equal to subscribe as well and that's about it and the uh, views um, maybe i'll not import views just the subscribe itself and i'll just quickly import that from subscriptions dot views uh, import subscribe uh, not settings uh, it's subscribe and that's it okay we have set the view now uh, this one uh, i'll quickly demonstrate so initially the request is get so it'll just instantiate a form is equal to subscribe form this is the form that we have actually created here this one this form and then if request is post now assuming if request is get this code will not be run and it'll just return render subscriptions harm.html so it'll just render that harm.html with the form form being passed as the context okay we haven't touched this part yet we'll do that in a moment but before that if request is post okay which means if the user has clicked that button uh, to that submit button then request is post and then we'll just say subscribe form request or post and we'll just validate if it's correct email and then these are the things required for email subject i'll use dummy code ban message recipient which means um the the person uh, to whom you are sending your message and then this one is the important one send mail which i have imported from email code or mail subject a message they uh, will just pass these things subject message and this is uh, from from address so which we have set in the settings dot email host user and then recipient which is a list of uh, two now the recipients is a list of items so you need to explicitly state that here and recipient we have fetched that from the form and then fail silently equal to false which means if any errors while sending the email happens um, we, we we have to state that we have to show that error that's what is fail silently is set to false you don't have to fail uh, silently we, we have to show that error that's what this is set if it is set to true which will set in the protection level um, then uh, if any error occurs it will not show in the um, uh, to the user but rather it will show in logs and stuff like that okay so for development purpose i'll set this to false so that any errors will be shown immediately okay then uh, we'll just set a message and a flash message and just redirect to to the same url and that's about it okay and um, uh, what uh, else we can do is um um yeah this one the last one the template i'll just copy this template here it's a simple template and then i have created the, in the subscriptions in the templates i have created subscriptions home.html just paste that in here and it's nothing at a nh1 and we're checking for messages if after su submitting su successfully we, we have set a message so we'll just print that here and then we have the form and uh, we have that form variable being rendered here okay that's about the uh, basic html page now we'll just run the server and let's actually check these things out whether it works okay so python manage.py run server and then we'll just go into there and subscribe form object has now attribute email um uh, not very much sure why that happens so let me quickly check that in a moment yeah that was the error with this one this um, string representation here I'll, I'll just change those things in the in the repository so just get it off the string representations and you'll be good to go here so if we refresh we can see subscribe and we can see that email so i'll quickly um, give an email maybe the same email that i'm using um as uh, the two i mean the from email that i have set so that i can see that stuff so I'll quickly say submit here so it's going it's sending the request and let's hope it will complete soon so um, it's taking a bit of time there and what do you know it, it shows me success okay so which means um, it, it might have sent that message and it, we can we can see there are you know, errors in the console as well so let's actually check 
uh, if that email comes in and what do you know we have got that email that you can see me code band and sending email through gmail and this is about it this is all about it this is uh um, totally working and i hope you enjoy this video it's it's fairly straightforward um there are no um no barriers like no over configurations it's pretty much simple and if you have any doubts or um, any sort of suggestions please let me know in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it so um thank you for watching we'll see you in the very next